Hey everyone, Armac here with episode 4 of my Final Fantasy VIII walkthrough. In the last episode, we collected a lot of cards. Um, and if I go to my card list, you will see we don't have a lot anymore, because <laughs> there's a lot of zeros. We uh, collected a lot of cards, and then we turned them all into items, and, uh, and then further from items into magic. So as you can see um, from Squall's list here, I've got a lot of magic. And uh, the tornado is the especially important one, but hey, you saw all those Aga spells, so that's really good. So now that we're a little overpowered, uh, it's time to get changed in our dormitory room and finally take the seed exam. And I'm actually going to rest up first because um, I was in, a, in the yellow health, so that's not what I want to see. Going into an exam, I want to be rested. And all we need to do after that is just leave the dormitory. And it'll just kind of direct us uh, to where we need to be. Now, I will be giving a lot of Squall over here a lot of instruction on how to do the exam. I'll be announcing the Squall assignments for the exam now. Let's see, you'll be with Zell Dinked. Quite a lively fellow. Lively? He's just loud. Can I switch members? I'm afraid that's not possible. Over here, Zell! Oh, Zell. I remember when I first saw this FMV, I was like, really? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, after the cool ones in 7, I was like, this is what we get. Kidding. Not really. Whoa, I'm with you! And yeah, let me break in settings can be changed in the status screen, but that's okay. He's kind of like a, the monk of the... Well, he is the monk, essentially. You don't get along with Cypher, do you? Heard he whooped you pretty bad this morning. We weren't fighting. We were training. I bet you he doesn't think so. Look, Cypher's just being a pain in the a -double -S -S. All you have to do is ignore him. That's none of your none of your business. Okay, Quisis, that's gonna get old. Ahem, excuse me, but that cipher you're talking about, he's your squad leader. Great! Say what? It can't be changed. Cipher, are you here? Here comes the rude guy himself. Fujin and Rajin taking along as usual. Guess that makes up the whole disciplinary committee. You're the squad leader. Good luck to you. Instructor. I hate it when people wish me luck. Save those words for a bad student that needs them, eh? Okay, then. Good luck, Cypher. <laughs> Add instructor trape to the list. The list? What is it? What is it? Well then, you're all assigned to squad B. I'll be the instructor in charge. Teamwork is of the utmost importance. Let's get through this exam, everyone. Listen up. Teamwork means staying out of my way. It's the squad B rule. Don't you forget it. Everyone here... It's been a while, everyone. How is everyone doing? This exam will involve 12 members from squads A through D. You will be proceeding to a real battlefield. Obviously, the battles are for real. Life and death, victory and defeat, honor and disgrace. Each of these go hand in hand. There's only one way or the other. How about it? Are you still up for it? You will be accompanied by nine seed members. Should you fail, these members shall get the job done. They always do. Well, that's one less worry on your mind. The pride of Balam Garden, the elite mercenary force, seed. Learn from them, obey their commands, and accomplish the mission. 
prove yourself worthy of becoming a member of Seed. Best of luck. I don't know why I'm making him sound older than he probably is. Anyways, okay, so this is the first test. Don't talk to anyone. Just leave. One of the things that you will be one of the things you will be graded on and watched for is how you compose yourself and talking to other people that are unnecessary starting right now is something that is frowned upon. It's like wasting time. You are on a mission. This is real. There's a real conflict going on. They do not want you to talk with people. Yo, Squall, show me your gun blade, will ya? Unless it's, of course, dialogue. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Come on, man. Dot, dot, dot. Just a peek. Dot, dot, dot. T fine. Yeah, yeah. Why are you being so selfish, Scrooge? Dot, dot, dot. Say something, will ya? W what's on your mind? Nothing. Nothing. Wow, clever, Quistus. Clever. And you'll... Oh. Dot, dot, dot. You'll also find that a lot of things just take time in this game, too. You just gotta wait for the scene to keep going. <laughs> Stop that. It's annoying. Chicken wuss. What did you call me? <laughs> Knock it off. Waiting. Waiting. Instructor. Who was that girl in the infirmary this morning? Was someone there? I didn't notice anybody. Is there a problem? No, not really. This is great. I have a chicken wuss and a guy who just reached puberty in my squad. Curse you, Cypher! How to drive. Back, forward, get on, off. Don't mind the change POV weirdness. Uh, that came with one of the plugins. <laughs> Anyways, so, um... Let's go ahead and just drive as chaotically as we can to um, the town of Balam. And the car just goes in to the town and through the town. And I hope everybody is watching out for cars. And it parks at the dock. So that's the vessel. Ain't no turning back now. Huh? You scared too? Hey, you guys are the last. Hurry up and get in. Don't disappoint me now. Come on, move it. Moving. Hurry, Squall. So we gotta hurry. Don't talk to anybody. Don't talk. They're saying hurry. Ignore these people standing nearby. Although I like to talk to everybody. I can usually in games like this. You will be penalized. Do not do it. They'll even test you a couple times on this. Hi, Quistis. Well, these are the members of Squad B. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Cypher, how many times has it been now? Oh, I just love these exams. I'll explain the current situation and the mission. Be seated! Our client for this mission is the Dalit Dukedom Parliament. A request for seed was made 18 hours ago. Dalit has been under attack by the G Army since about 72 hours ago. 49 hours into the battle, Dalit abandoned their position in the inner city. Currently, they have retreated into the nearby mountains and are reorganizing their troops. That's the current status. Now, onto the mission objective. 
According to our reports, the G Army is mopping up the Dalit troops in the mountain region. We're to make a landing at La Pam Beach. We're to eliminate the remaining G Army within the city and liberate it ASAP. Afterwards, seed members will intercept any G Army forces trying to make their way into the city from the mountain region. Ooh. So what are we supposed to do? Seed candidates are to eliminate the G Army inside the city. Sounds important. Sounds boring. So what you're saying is, we do all the little dirty work. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it hardly needs to be said, but the order to withdraw takes priority. Do not forget. We're almost there. We anticipate a battle as soon as we disembark. Just be prepared. That's all. Any questions, talk to Quistis. Do not talk to Quistis or anybody or Cypher or Zell. Just do nothing. This is also the not talk rule. FYI. Do nothing. We'll be landing pretty soon. Get ready. All right. Roger. Yeah, yeah. Well then, Squall. Go see what's going on outside. Uh, click OK, because another thing you're being judged on, OK, is how well you take orders. Good, because it's my order. So even though you don't like Cypher, probably, just, you know, say OK. Follow his orders. He is the captain, or whatever they call it. Leader. Ooh. The first time I saw that, I thought I didn't realize those were boats. I thought they were planes in the sky because of the moon. Uh, yeah, it probably took me like two or three playthroughs to realize that no, those are boats. And when did you ever see aircrafts? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Looking back, I really like these cutscenes. I think they're really fun. And they get so good. So good. As, as the game goes on. So we're going to Dalit to stop the Galbadian army, which they call the G army, from essentially destroying and taking over the town. I mean, they're kind of fighting. We don't really know why they're there or why they're attacking the town, but we're there to help the town and stop these people. Okay, you are to secure the central square. Be sure to equip your GF before you head into battle. Okay, that's really important. So we need to do a lot of things. Let's move out before we actually move anywhere. So, first what we're going to want to do um, is go into Junction, Quistus, and off all. Get rid of her, like, jun un Junction, her magic, and her GFs, everything. Then go into Magic, and select Zell. We're going to use all, which says take all magic from other members. So the member to receive magic will be Zell, and the member he's taking the magic from is Quistus. So now he gets all that magic we gave her last few episodes. Now let's go into Junction, and take off um, for Squall... I like for him to have a freak because it has tornado and elemental attack. So get rid of Quetzalcoatl. And um, everything else should just remain the same for him. Oh, wait. No, we actually want to go back into ability and do strength plus 20%. I forgot to equip these when we learned them. So just a heads up. Don't forget to do that. And for Cypher, I'm going to give him Quetzalcoatl because magic. We're just going to have him draw magic. Um, I really don't need him, now that we are so overpowered, I really don't need him to actually be attacking. And we're going to um, give Zell um, Shiva because it gives him strength junctioning. And also don't forget to equip uh, Spirit plus 20%, which is magic defense. Now, um... Let's also start refining some more ma some more items to give Cypher some magic. 
Doesn't really matter what we give him. We didn't have a third party member before, so we couldn't really refine these items any further. But now that we've got a third party member, we can refine as much as we possibly can, just to try to give him just a, some, some magic. And everything we give Cypher at this point will auto-transfer to another character later on. So you c feel free to give him stuff. It's not like when he leaves the party or anything, he's going to, you know, um, take anything with him. All right. And I did magic because I, he's going to be drawing magic. I want his magic to be high, and that's really the only stat he has anyways. So that's pretty much it for preparing. Let's head off. Do not talk to these people. Not talking to anybody. Just keep following Cypher, and you're good. Now, you're going to come into some attacks, or some mandatory battles here against these soldiers. They're really easy, especially with the preparations we've taken in getting the junctioned magic. So, they should go down with one hit, um, even from Zell there. And if you ever get to Cypher, just feel, you know, just draw from these guys just so that his character can get some more magic. We really don't need him to do anything else. He's a really strong attacker, but I like to... Since he's the third party member, and he doesn't have a lot of magic, I just like to focus on having him draw. And here's another mandatory battle. You will essentially have to fight six of these soldiers in Dalit. So here's number three and four. And essentially what we're doing is driving back the forces, getting rid of the the Galbadian army that's inside of the town, per our orders. Got some level ups, awesome. And just keep following Cypher. Another thing that we will be graded on is the number of battles, the number of um, people that we got rid of, essentially. The central square is up ahead. Hey, all you Galbadian cowards out there, come out and show your faces. Don't leave me hanging now. What an idiot. Um, so what I would recommend is fight at least 25 people. Um, we don't really want to fight a lot of people as far as experience goes, but when you get to 20, um, you really start to get decent points for grades when you get to 20 people. And 25 gets you even higher grade marks. And since it's only five more people, I, I just say go for 25. So that was number five. And it's going to be good to keep count so we can keep track of this. There may be more. Don't even talk to the dog. <laughs> All right, I want you guys to scout the area for enemies. Just, I don't even know if that counts, if talking to the dog counts or not, but anyways, go back into this upper right corner and you'll find number six. The last guy that's going to be essentially mandatory for this segment. And you won't really be able to encounter any random battles just yet, but pretty soon we will. So that was number six. And he went down really fast. Because we are what? Overpowered. Potion. I think that's all of them. Oh, the dog is whining. He wants some love and some friends. Well then, we're on standby till the enemy comes. Standby. How boring. And the dog approaches. And he makes Cypher angry. Cypher doesn't like dogs, by the way, I guess. <laughs> he doesn't like his, ta his talent wasted. Sounds like it's starting. Bring it on. Get out of here. Scram. Hey, Galba Galbadian soldiers. What are you waiting for? Come show me what you got. <laughs> Yeah, bark. So as you can see, it's kind of uneventful. And Cypher's not too happy with this. Nothing. Move down a little bit, it usually triggers a cutscene. Still keeping us waiting. 
That's it! I can't take it anymore! What is this, some kind of dog training? That's the best lookout dog I've ever seen in my life. And so even though a whole uh, parade of Galbadian soldiers have finally arrived, which is what you think would get these guys excited, instead they hide and watch them go by. Like, really? I guess, hey, there you go. It's the enemy. Where are they? Where are the H-E-Double hockey sticks they going? Hey, what is that up there? Good question. Our next destination. But that's against orders. Weren't you just saying how bored you were? Squall! I stand by the captain's decision. Good grades. The captain's decision. You want to wreck some havoc too, don't you? It's a good opportunity to test out my training. Thanks to you, I feel like I can take on anyone, even if they do fight dirty, like you. Ooh, you'll thank me when the time comes. What the HEW hockey sticks? I thought you guys didn't get along. You're like all buddy-buddy now. Listen, this ain't no ordinary battle. It's an exam, an important one. I'm telling you, we have to stick to orders. Then you stay here. I don't need any Boy Scouts. What was that? Don't take him seriously, Zell. Cypher, if we're gonna go, let's hurry. The enemy is headed for the facility. We squad B are to secure the summit. Move out! Alright. Fine. And just follow Cypher. Now, from here on out, you will be encountering um, random encounters, random enemies. So, just go with the flow. Remember the count. We're on number six, as far as enemies defeated. And even though there's wounded soldiers, do not stop to help them. You will be graded down. Unless you consider helping people over grades. Ah, uh, who, who are you? Don't worry, we're seed candidates. We've been dispatched by Garden. So, what's going on up there? The Galbadian soldiers have entered the communication tower. On top of that, that place has always been a nesting ground for monsters. If you guys are going up, be careful. Help! Oh yeah? Big snake? Anaconduar? Listen up. The finishing blow determines the XP. Save it for me. So, this guy used to be tough. Um, he would be tough if you didn't do the preparations in the first three videos. But, uh, he'll go down really fast now. And there he goes. <laughs> One hit. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like our efforts are paying off already. And that was number seven. So, monsters, huh? That sucks. More fun for us. Come on. Fun? Please? Okay, so just follow Cypher like we've been doing. Nothing new. You will probably come into a fight on, in this path with three dudes. It's kind of like mandatory. Oh, I think it's mandatory, but this is a geezer. That's gross. Get it. Get it! Okay, he's been gotten. Maxima. All right, screw. Yay. Is this the fight? I always seem to get into a fight with three guys on this path. Ah, oh, there they are. Yep. Okay. Well, there you go. Maybe you got it. Maybe not. I think it's mandatory. Anyways, so the guy was number eight. This would make nine, ten, eleven. Right? No, the geezer was number eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And once again, Cypher, have Cypher draw if you get to him. We haven't actually gotten to him yet before. But that's what you do. Draw. Or you can just attack with him if you want, but... He's not, he doesn't have any magic. And we're going to be giving that magic to somebody soon. 
Okay, level up, no, Phoenix Down Potion, yes. Four AP, level up, level up, level up. Goodness gracious, it's like a birthday party. The most dangerous birthday party ever. The generator is up and running. No problem with the boosters. The heck they doing? Cable disconnection confirmed. Beginning exchange process. Roger. Repairs. Who cares? This must be your first real battle. You scared? I don't know. I try not to think about it. I love battles. I fear nothing. The way I look at it, as long as you make it out of a battle alive, you're one step closer to fulfilling your dream. What? Your dream? You have one too, don't you? Sorry, but I'm gonna pass on that subject. Yo, let me in on it too. Mind your own business. Frickin' HE double hockey sticks! What's the matter, Zell? Swatting flies? Ooh. Darn you! There you are! Yay. <laughs> I did think these character intros for each character was kind of cute. Shows you a little bit of their personality. And now you see selfies. <laughs> oh, selfie. She's kind of like the running joke, I guess. Are you Squad B? Wait a minute. You're the guy who showed me around, right? Thanks. I don't get so lost anymore. Oh, yeah. I haven't told you my name yet. I'm a messenger. Name Selfie from Squad A. The squad's Captain Cypher, right? Where is he? Over there. One of these days, I'm gonna tell you about my romantic dream. No thanks. Huh, this sure is tough. Captain, wait up! Okay, now, <laughs> what are you waiting for? Come on, come on! You can jump off that ledge right there, but you actually would be graded down because it's not really in good taste. Walk around. Don't put yourself in danger. Don't do risky things. Just walk around. You might get into a battle, but hey. That's fine. <laughs> this guy will go down quick enough. There he goes. And what do we get this time? No items, one AP, that's it, eh, whatever. What took you so long? You would have been just much quicker if you just jumped. Much quicker? Please. You wouldn't normally jump off a cliff, okay? Ain't that right, Squall? Now, it doesn't matter what you say here. If you say I don't know about that, it's actually more interesting, but I'm gonna go with yeah, I guess so. Just like role-playing. Yeah, I guess so. You wouldn't normally jump that. Hmm, I don't know. Well, anyway, well, let's get going. Has everyone equipped a GF? You haven't forgotten, have you? Okay. So that's a, your cue to make sure that Selfie is equipped with a GF. Um, didn't mean to go to GF. Just on my mind. Okay, so junction her with the one that uh, Cypher had. An auto for attack or magic or whatever. She doesn't have a whole lot. And I just give her the standard item GF draw. Now she already has all the magic that, uh, that Cypher had. So... It just automatically transfers, which is really nice. You don't have to do that again. And head to the communication tower. So this is the communication tower. Sure is big. Ah. Uh, uh. Cowards. Hey. <laughs> he just ignores her. The captain's getting away. So run on after your captain if that if I just spoke English. Did he go up? Hey, squad B captain! And go to the draw point. Blind. 
I'll just have Squall just get everything for the most part. Um, and then what we're going to do here now, you can say, but I'm going to run around first and get into more battles. I kind of lost count. So we were at 8 with the geezer, 9, 10, 11 with the guys, 12 with the guy I fought outside. So this would be 13, I think. So now that that's done. Um, so we're going to try to get to 25. So keep count, keep count of your kills and try to get to, to 25. It'll guarantee you a really good score as far as battling goes. All right. Well, I think that does it for me. So I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you liked the episode. If you did, please like, subscribe, or comment. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode when we go up the communications tower and find out what is going on. Yeah. <laughs> Laters.